Special Lance Corporal Vanessa Milo has been charged with manslaughter of 39-year-old Lal Bachan Bachan, a taxi driver who died under questionable circumstances whilst in the lockups at the Saudi police station in July 2019. Detective Corporal Dwayne Braffitt and Constable Denzel Glasgow were charged separately with the offense of attempt to obstruct the course of justice. Bail in the sum of $400,000 was granted to Milo, whilst Braffitt and Glasgow were granted bail at $50,000 each. The matter was adjourned to August 7, 2020 for report. Bachan's lifeless body was found in the lockups on July 1, 2019, three days after he was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Following the discovery, Bachan was rushed to the Saudi Public Hospital, where he was pronounced dead on arrival. At the time, the police in a statement said that the body bore no marks of violence and they were contending that his death was as a result of natural causes. However, family members reported seeing swelling on the man's forehead and minor injuries on his hand and feet. We have proof to show that there is mark of violence on the body. His face is swollen, his hand has bruises, his knees everywhere. The police came just now, they said that he could kick. That happened because of a fall. I asked the question, how could someone possibly get a fractured lit larynx. Lar larynx by a simple fall? The answer that wasn't satisfactory because he said that he don't know about that of fall. It was just a, of a suspected fall. I don't think so. And they clearly stated as well that the need for investigation is not there because they ha already handed over to the body to the relatives because they don't see a need to carry on more investigation. They wanted $100,000 for him, so probably as they didn't get the money, they decided to do him that. But come on, we all are human beings. Why would someone kill him for $100,000? That doesn't make sense. $100,000 can't take care of me and the three brothers from now till when. Attorney Anil Nandlal had taken up the case to represent the family and push for an investigation into the matter. Reporting for the Evening News, Davina Samaru.